hi and today I'm going to be doing this Happy Kitchen Donut set and I already opened it just to make things a little quicker. But first I have two things. Um, one, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've been really busy with dance and other stuff like that. And also, and then number two is please check out Every Man in Japan. She really inspires me. Um, I'll leave her link down below. And, um, yeah, so if you could check her out, it would really be awesome, and she's amazing. I love her YouTube channel. She is awesome, amazing. So, yes. So let's get started. Okay, so first, I already did the first step, kind of. I started it, and then I realized I, um, didn't hit the play button, so I was kind of dumb there, but, um, so... What I did is I added, I filled this container up with water and then I added this orange packet. So all you're just going to do from there is just stir that. Okay guys, so I uh, made it into a bowl and the thing, in my opinion, it really smells like vanilla cake batter. It doesn't really look like it at all, but it does smell like it, so... Yeah, so the next step is to cut it in half. You're going to cut your little ball in half. And then you're going to cut that in half. And then you're going to form balls from those. Hey, okay, so now I'm back, and what you're going to do is do the same exact thing. So you're going to fill your container with water. I guess you didn't know that because it didn't fall. But um, you're going to take your giant, your bigger red packet, and this is going to be your your um, chocolate mix that you're using. The chocolate donuts mix. So let's add that powder. And then you're going to stir it until you get the consist consistency that you like. So now we are going to make our donuts, and you're going to need the mold for this part, finally. Um, and we formed the balls for the chocolate, and just like the vanilla, it smells just like chocolate mix. So now you're going to take your little mold and start... Putting it in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two small chocolate and vanilla balls together to make um, a vanilla and chocolate um, cake batter. So kind of just mix it together. So like this. Just add them together. Kind of just like you're just adding the vanilla or the chocolate by itself. And then you're going, I'm going to add it to the middle mold. I went ahead and made a couple of donuts of the donuts. Um, here's the one that I, that I started to show you guys where I mixed up the two vanilla, um, vanilla and chocolate and I just did some vanilla and chocolate and all that stuff. So now we're going to make the frosting. So what we did is we already added one scoop of water into the big container. So you're going to add your um, brown packet and into the big container that you made your, um, your both of your mixes in. You are going to put that, the brown packet in, and then you're going to put in one scoop of water. And then you're going to stir it. And it smells like, cho like dark chocolate. And I'm not a very big fan of dark chocolate, so... So here's what it looks like when it's all done. Yes. So now you're going to take your little piping bag and I'm going to take this. Now we are going to um, make the other frostings. So I put one scoop of water in these two containers just to make it quicker. 
So you're going to take your red packet, your smaller red packet, and put it into the, um, the rectangle container. And then you're going to stir. Looks like a pink frosting. This kind of smells like the um, strawberry Hello Panda. I think you have to add more water to that. Okay. So I guess I'll add another scoop of water to that consistency if needed. Alright, so then once you got your strawberry mix there, you're going to take your blue packet and you're going it, um, to put it in with one scoop of water as well. And I already added one scoop of water in there. I bet you need two. But otherwise it doesn't look very right fresh to me. And then this you can add two scoops of water. <laughs> in orders. So I'm stirring them up right now, getting them all in um, nice and smooth, and then we're going to decorate them. So me and my family decorated a couple of these donuts, so now I'm just going to decorate one of them for you. So I'm going to take my chocolate from my piping bag, and I'm going, let me just, yeah, more, okay. And I'm just going to add some drizzle to this donut. There. And I'm going to go ahead and add some colorful sprinkles to that. Okay, there we go. There's my donut. All right, so now... <laughs> I'm sorry, I dropped that. Um, now for my favorite part, the taste test. So I'm going to try... Okay, I'm going to try the one that I dropped. So... That's weird. In my opinion, the chocolate tastes just like normal dark chocolate. Sprinkles are crunchy. The batter, not the best. Um, it's really chewy. Kind of like the gummy land kit. And the texture is kind of smooth. It's kind of Chewy. I don't really know how to explain this, but otherwise the frosting's good, the chocolate frosting. So yeah. So that was my Happy Kitchen Donut set. I have a couple of other pop and cooking that I'll definitely be doing videos on that are going to be coming hopefully soon. So please subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.